today's class we are going to discuss about networks so there are various type of networks networks are generally interconnection of elements such as resistors capacitors inductors and sources like voltage source current source etc so if you interconnect these elements then it forms a network so there this is basically a electrical network now if you are going to interconnect the electronic elements together then it forms a electronic network also it is possible to form networks by only interconnecting resistors then it is called a resistive network also if you are interconnecting capacitors it is called a capacitive network likewise you can form various networks so a network is generally interconnection of elements now before going into the details of electric network you should understand the concept of electric circuit so electrical circuit so what is a electric circuit it is a closed path which provides the path for flowing of electrons so it is generally closed and it is also formed by interconnection of elements like capacitors resistors etc so it is a closed path and also it will be having sources like voltage source or current source so that is a electric circuit now what is the difference between a network and an electrical circuit so we uh, discussed or we said that electrical circuit are closed path but electric network may not be closed it can also be open it can sometimes be closed also so we can say all electrical circuits can be called as networks but all networks cannot be called as electrical circuits so that is the difference between electrical circuit and network now why are we connecting these uh, elements together why are we interconnecting the elements together to form a network the elements are interconnected either to obtain a particular result or to analyze a particular uh, result or to analyze the behavior of circuit elements or to obtain the response of elements to a particular input so we generally connect the elements together to form a network or a circuit to obtain a result or to study the response of the elements so that is why we are going for electrical network and circuits now what are the various types of elements present in a electrical network different types of elements present in a electrical network so there are broadly three categories of elements present in a electrical network that are first one is active and passive so this is one classification of elements present in a electrical network next one is linear and non linear that is a second classification or second category the third category is unilateral and bilateral so these are the three categories of elements present in an electrical network now let's see what all these three categories are representing so we'll discuss about these three categories so the first category we are going to discuss is active and passive elements so active elements means they are capable of generating electrical power sometimes they also absorb electrical power so generally they will be supplying electrical power so such elements are called active elements and the example of active elements are sources that are voltage and current source are example of active circuit or network elements next one is a passive network element so these elements are only capable of absorbing electrical power so they will be consuming electrical power they are not generating any electrical power the example of these uh, passive elements are resistors inductor capacitor etc so these are passive 
elements. So uh, while discussing about uh, resistors and capacitors also we discussed that these are passive elements because they are not generating any electrical power. So passive elements will absorb the power and they store the energy uh, either in the electrical field or magnetic field or they will dissipate this energy in the form of heat. So that is a passive element. They do not produce any energy or power. They do not uh, generate any power. They just absorb the power. So they are power consuming elements. So that is a passive element. Whereas an active element, they produce power and they give power to other elements present in the electrical network. Next, we are going to discuss about linear and non-linear elements present in electrical network. The elements which show linear relationship between voltage and current are called linear elements. The example are resistors, capacitors, inductors, etc. They show linear relationship between uh, the voltage and current. Whereas the elements which doesn't show linear relationship or show non-linear relationship between voltage and current are called non-linear elements. The example are voltage sources and current sources, etc. So, that is the linear and non-linear elements. So here the example of resistor, capacitor, etc. And here the example is voltage current source. Etc. Okay, this. So that is the classification linear and non linear electrical network elements. Next, we are going to discuss about bilateral and unilateral elements. So, bilateral element means the element which allow the flow of current in both directions and also offering the same impedance in both directions are called bilateral elements. So let's discuss about it. The example of bilateral elements are resistor, capacitors and inductor. Okay, so that is the examples of bilateral element. So the uh, main feature of bilateral element is that the bilateral element allows the current to flow in both direction through it and also it offer the same impedance in both directions. So, I am going to consider a bilateral element here. Uh, the current is flowing from, say there are two points A and B. The current is flowing in this direction and the current is I. Uh, the voltage is V. And the impedance offering is Z. So, what is Z according to the Ohm's slope? It is, here it is, plus V by I. Okay, so you can remove it. Simply write Z equal to V by I. So that is the equation for the impedance. Now here the current is flowing from A to B. Now let's consider the case when the current is flowing from B to A. So here the current is flowing in this direction. Okay. So let's calculate the impedance here. So uh, in this case, we consider that uh, when the current is flowing from B to A, there is a reverse current from A to B and that is minus I. Okay, now let's calculate uh, the impedance from A to B. What will be the impedance from A to B? It will be Z equal to minus I, sorry, minus v by minus i so that is v by i itself so here when the current is flowing from so you can write z here so when the current is flowing from a to b or from b to a it is offering a same impedance so bilateral elements are generally elements which allow the flow of current through it in both direction and also offering the same impedance in both direction. So that is the case. What is unilateral means? Unilateral means it allow the flow of current only in one direction and also 
the resistance or the impedance will be different in both directions. That is the impedance offered in both directions will be different. And also it allows the current to flow only in one direction. Such elements are called unilateral elements. So today's class we have discussed about the basics of electrical networks and also the different types of elements present in an electrical network. So this is the basics of network analysis. So I hope you really enjoyed watching the video and you gained some knowledge from the video and if yes, give it a thumbs up and also do share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel also. Thank you.